Hello, I'm Janik Hauke from the Applications and Academy Department from the Tower Company and I would like to speak about uh, SMB purification of silicone. So we have our new Azure SMB system which uh, consists of four assistants and it has uh, four pumps and seven valves. And using this system configuration we were able to purify a silly tool from fermentation mesh. So in an earlier uh, application we showed that silly tool can be purified in semi quadratic scale from fermentation mesh and we use now the SMB uh, process for larger purification. SMB stands for simulated moving bed and we have uh, a chromatography system for such kind of purification. Before starting the SMB process, we had to determine certain parameters like the porosity of the color material or the retention times of the interesting um, compounds. So in this case, it was a separation of silly tool from the rest of the fraction. The setup of our um, SMB process had uh, several cycles, so after the sixth cycle we collected sample from the extract, raffinate and also the waste and made the fast analysis to see if our process is already running stable and to see if uh, we have a silly tool not uh, separated from the rest of the Substances. In the previous experiments, uh, we purified silicone on a semi preparative scale, and the results of this experiment showed that actually the chromatogram and the conditions of these experiments would be really suitable for SMB process. Therefore, we decided to apply this SMB process. So, first of all, the uh, separation is done in an isocratic mode what normal, normal SMB processes are also running. Also we use the uh, oil cut columns, which are often used, uh, or polymer based columns, which are often used in SMB processes. And also the separation of our target substance eluted in the end of the chromatogram, so the separation of the target substance silly tool from the rest uh, was easy. So therefore one step SMB process was feasible. Uh, there are several challenges if you want to set up an SMB process. So that you have to de determine parameters like porosity, retention times. You have to make some overload studies of your target substances. So all the um, method setups is much more time consuming. And also then the second step is uh, uh, method optimization. What is great actually on the SMB system, if, if once you have set up your experiments, you can let it run over several hours, days, even weeks. So if you want to purify a, a substance, something like Civitol, once you have set up everything, you will be able to purify in much higher quantities and purities than classical batch chromatography. Also, you will have a less dilution of your target substance. Our target substance was silly tool, so also previous experiments showed that uh, separation with the so-called oil cut calcium columns was the best choice. So also for the SMB process, we use these kind of columns. These are polymer-based columns, um, which separate sugar by um, size exclusion and iron exchange. So the SMB process classically can be used in many different uh, operation areas. One, like sugar separations, is mainly interesting, of course, for food industry, and the here presented silicone purification would be interesting for the food or, uh, or any other applications where sugar is replaced by silicone.